Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Before we get into tonight's video, I wanted to talk about our sponsor, TC's Rockets. TC's Rockets started in 2015 and has become the largest game store in San Diego. They host daily Magic the Gathering events along with Pokemon and Warhammer. If you can't make it to their events, you can always tune in via Twitch on Tuesdays and Fridays for some legacy and modern matches. TC's Rockets goes even further by hosting the Rocket Series. It's a yearly circuit of events that rotates through different formats until a champion is chosen. They had over 400 unique players compete in their first season. All of the Rocket Series events are live streamed at twitch.tv slash TC's Rockets. Tune in and cheer on your favorite players. TC's Rockets does more than just gaming. They also have the largest selection of comics and collectibles in San Diego, and maybe they'll even be at a comic convention near you. Thank you to TC's Rockets, the sponsor of today's video. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Ryan, piloting the partner pair of Tevish Zant, Duma Fools, and Krom, Ludovic's Opus. This is the classic Grixis Good Stuff deck. It has the ability to go fast and combo quickly or fall back onto a more grindy strategy. Ryan's opening game contains a Wheel of Fortune, Mana Crypt, Fierce Guardianship, Lion's Eye Diamond, Rhystic Study, Flusterstorm, and a Bloodstained Mire. Next, we have Drake, piloting Najila the Blade Blossom. This deck contains all of the best combos in the format. The classic one-card combos with Najila, along with Thassa's Oracle and Underworld Breach Lines. Drake's opening hand contains a Gamble, Ad Nauseum, Overgrown Tomb, Command Tower, Thassa's Oracle, Vampiric Tutor, and a Gush. Next, we have Jordan, piloting Ragged Draga, Gorgut's Boss. This deck aims to disrupt its opponent's game plans with stacks pieces and win through an infinite damage combo or the tried and true classic of turning creatures sideways. Jordan's opening hand contains a Beseju Who Endures, Elvish Spirit Guide, Guy's Cradle, Marwin the Nurturer, Ubenwald Tracker, Forest, and a Tuk Tuk Rubble Fort. Finally, we have Sean, piloting the partner pair of Peer Imaginative Rascal and Toothy Imaginary Friend. This is a manual storm list that aims to abuse Displacer Kitten alongside its commander to draw its deck and win through Laboratory Maniac. Sean's opening hand contains an Opt, Yavamaya Coast, Mystic Remora, Endurance, Mana Drain, Noxious Revival, and a Laboratory Maniac. Without further ado, let's kick off this crazy, kooky, cool, crashing kaleidoscope. Ryan had the best My Little Pony collection and gets to start us off. Ryan draws a card for turn and plays a Bloodstained Mire. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. He casts a Mana Crypt. He follows it up with a turn one, Rhystic Study. The table suddenly has to reevaluate their game plan, and Ryan follows it up with a Lion's Eye Diamond. He passes. Drake draws and plays a Verdant Catacombs. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up an Underground Sea onto the battlefield. He ends the turn. Jordan draws and plays a forest. He casts Ubenwald Tracker. Rhystic triggers and Ryan draws. Tracker resolves and Jordan ships the turn. Sean draws and plays the Yava Maya Coast. He holds open mana and gives the turn to Ryan. Turn his upkeep, Ryan wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and plays a Morphic Pool. He casts Wheel of Fortune. In response, Drake casts Vampiric Tutor. Rhystic triggers and Ryan draws. In response, Ryan casts Flusterstorm with all copies targeting Vampiric Tutor. Tutor is countered and in response to Wheel, Sean taps his Yava Maya Coast to cast Opt. He scries one, draws a card, and Wheel resolves. Each player discards their hand, including Drake discarding Ad Nauseum and Thassa's Oracle. Then each player draws seven, and Ryan ends his turn. Drake draws and casts Chrome Mox. Rhystic triggers, and Ryan draws. Mox enters, and Drake imprints Fire Covenant. He casts a Brainstorm. Rhystic triggers, and he pays. He draws three, and then puts two back on top. He plays a Tropical Island for turn. He casts Deathrite Shaman. Rhystic triggers, and Ryan draws. The table begs him to stop feeding Ryan cards, and Shaman resolves. Drake passes the turn. Jordan draws and plays an Ancient Tomb. He casts Finehorn Elves. Rhystic triggers, and Jordan taps his Ancient Tomb to pay for it. With nothing else, Jordan gives the turn to Sean. Sean draws and also plays an Ancient Tomb. He casts Chrome Mox. Rhystic triggers, and Ryan draws. Mox enters, and Sean imprints Dramatic Reversal. He taps his Ancient Tomb to help cast his commander, Toothy Imaginary Friend. Rhystic triggers, and Ryan draws, adding to his massive hand. Sean ends the turn. During his upkeep, Ryan loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and plays a Command Tower. He casts Mox Diamond, discarding Polluted Delta. He also casts a Chrome Mox, imprinting Opposition Agent. He casts his Commander, Krom, Ludovic's Opus. He moves to Crombat and attacks Drake with Krom. Drake takes it, and Ryan ships the turn. Drake draws and casts his Commander, Najila the Blade Blossom, paying the Rhystic Tax. He ends the turn. Jordan draws and casts Arbor Elf, tapping his Ancient Tomb to pay for Rhystic. He casts Worldly Tutor, paying for Rhystic again. Krom triggers, and Ryan draws. He fetches up a Heron Blade Elite onto the top of his library. He plays a City of Brass and ships the turn. Sean draws and Toothy triggers, getting a plus one plus one counter. He plays a Yava Maya, Cradle of Growth. He taps a Jinkton Tomb to help cast his other commander, Pure Imaginative Rascal. Rhystic triggers and he pays. He gives the turn to Ryan. 
During his upkeep, Ryan loses his mana crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and plays a Badlands. He casts Grim Monolith. He casts his other commander, Tevish Zant, Doom of Fools. He activates Tevish's first ability, creating two thralls. He follows it up with Ragavan, Nimble Pilferer. He keeps back blockers for Najila and gives the turn to Drake. Drake draws and moves straight to combat. He attacks Jordan with Najila. Najila triggers, creating a 1-1 warrior tapped and attacking Jordan. Jordan declares no blocks and takes it all. Drake ends the turn. Jordan draws and taps his Ancient Tomb to cast Heron Blade Elite. Ristic triggers and Ryan draws. He uses his Arbor Elf to untap his Ancient Tomb, which now is a forest, thanks to Yavamaya. He casts his commander, Ragadraga, Gorgut's boss. Ristic and Krom trigger and Ryan draws two. Ragadraga enters and Heron Blade triggers, getting a plus one plus one counter. All through, Jordan passes. Sean draws and Toothy triggers, getting two plus one plus one counters. He plays an Emergence Zone for turn. He holds open mana and passes the turn. During his upkeep, Ryan wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and plays a Scalding Tarn. He moves to combat and attacks Drake with Ragavan. Drake takes the hit and Ragavan triggers. Drake exiles Dark Ritual and Ryan creates a treasure. In a second main phase, Ryan cracks his Scalding Tarn, pays a life, and fetches up an underground sea onto the battlefield. He casts Mystical Tutor. In response, Sean pays two life to cast Mental Misstep, targeting Mystical Tutor, paying for Ristic. In response, Ryan pays two life to cast his own Mental Misstep, targeting Mental Misstep. Misstep is countered and Ryan fetches up an Ad Nauseam onto the top of his library. He activates Tevich's second ability, sacrificing Krom and drawing three cards. To the surprise of the table, Ryan passes the No, he slams down Ad Nauseam. In response, Drake casts Force of Will for its alternate cost, paying a life and exiling a blue card, paying the Ristic Tax. In response, Ryan casts Pyroblast, targeting Force of Will, countering it. With Ad Nauseam still in the stack, Drake casts Tainted Pact. Ristic triggers and Ryan draws. Drake exiles until he finds Mindbreak Trap, putting it into his hand. He casts Mindbreak Trap, targeting Ad Nauseam, paying for Ristic. In response, Ryan casts Delay, targeting Mindbreak Trap. Mindbreak Trap is countered and exiled with three time counters on it. With the table nearly out of options, Sean and Drake start talking. They come up with a plan, albeit a desperate one, but a plan nonetheless. Sean casts Mystical Tutor, paying for Ristic. He fetches up a Flusterstorm onto the top of his library. This now resets priority, and Drake responds by casting Deadly Rollick for its alternate cost, targeting Toothy. Ristic triggers, and Ryan draws. Toothy is exiled and triggers. Sean draws three and then taps his Yavamai Coast to cast Flusterstorm with all copies targeting Ad Nauseam. Ristic triggers and Ryan draws. With nothing else and Ryan being able to stop four interaction pieces in one turn, Ad Nauseam is countered. Thwarted in his win attempt, Ryan passes. Drake draws and moves straight to combat. He swings Najila and a warrior at Ryan. Najila triggers and he creates two warriors tapped in attacking Ryan as well. Ryan takes the hit and in his second main phase, Drake casts Mystic Remora. Ristic triggers and Ryan draws. With nothing else, Drake ends the turn. Jordan draws and taps his Ancient Tomb, floating two mana. He activates Arbor Elf, untapping Ancient Tomb. He taps his Ancient Tomb again to cast Tooth and Nail. Ragadraga, Ristic, and Remora all trigger. Drake draws, Jordan pays for Ristic, and Ragadraga untaps Heron Blade, giving it plus seven plus seven and trample until the end of turn. Tooth and Nail resolves, and he fetches up an Allosaur Shepherd and a Regal Force into his hand. He casts Allosaur Shepherd, paying for Ristic. He follows it up with Regal Force. Ragadraga and Ristic trigger. He pays for Ristic, untapping Heron Blade, and giving it another plus seven plus seven until the end of turn. Regal Force enters, and he draws seven cards. He taps the City of Brass, floating a red. He then casts Wave of Vitriol. Ragadraga, Ristic, and Mystic all trigger. He pays for both, and then untaps Heron Blade, giving it another plus seven plus seven. In response, Sean floats a green. In response, Ryan casts Chain of Vapor, targeting his Mana Crypt. Remora triggers and Drake draws. Crypt bounces and he continues the chain, sacrificing a land to bounce Mox Diamond. He sacks another land, bouncing Grim Monolith. He sacks a land, bouncing his Chrome Mox. He sacks another land, bouncing his Lion's Eye Diamond. He sacrifices one last land, targeting Heron Blade with the chain. In response, Jordan casts Deflecting Swat for its alternate cost, targeting Chain of Vapor. Ristic and Mystic trigger and he pays for both. In response, Drake casts Final Fortune to try and draw Ryan into an answer. Ryan draws through Ristic, doesn't find what he needs, and Final Fortune resolves, giving Drake an extra turn. Then SWAT changes the target of Chain of Vapor to Regal Force, bouncing it. He declines to continue the chain. With Wave of Vitriol still on the stack, Sean casts Veil of Summer, not paying for either Ristic or Mystic. He draws a card, then Drake floats a blue, and then Wave of Vitriol resolves. Each player sacrifices all artifacts, enchantments, and non-basic lands. Jordan fetches up a basic forest and mountain into play tapped, and then Sean fetches up a basic forest and island into play tapped. Next, Jordan casts Regal Force. Ragged Dragon triggers, untapping Heron Blade and giving it plus seven plus seven. Regal Force enters and he draws seven cards. He taps Heron Blade for 39 mana and casts Garuk, Primal Hunter. He activates Garuk's second ability, killing it and drawing 39 cards. He casts Void Winor. 
Ragadraga triggers untapping Hairblade, giving it another plus 7 plus 7. He casts Platinum Angel. Ragadraga triggers untapping Hair and Blade and giving it another plus 7 plus 7. He casts Spine of Ish Saw. Ragadraga triggers untapping itself, giving it plus 7 plus 7 and trample. Spine of Ish Saw enters and targets itself. In response, Ryan casts Deflecting Swat for its alternate cost, targeting the ability. In response, Jordan casts Bolt Bend, targeting Deflecting Swat. In response, Drake casts Swan Song, targeting Bolt Bend. In response, Jordan casts Veil of Summer. Veil resolves, Jordan draws a card, and Swan Song resolves, but doesn't counter Bolt Bend. Jordan then creates a 2-2 bird, and then Bolt Bend changes the target of Deflecting Swat to Bolt Bend itself. Swat then fizzles, and Spine of Ishsaw destroys itself. Spine triggers and returns itself to Jordan's hand. Jordan recasts Spine of Issaw. Ragged Dragon triggers, untapping, pumping a creature, and giving it trample until the end of turn. When Spine enters, he has it destroy itself and then returns it to his hand. He presents a loop of casting Spine, triggering Ragged Dragon, having Spine kill itself, and returning it to his hand. He keeps doing this until his team is infinitely large. He then swings out at the table, killing everyone, and winning the game. Well, that was quite a sight to behold, so how about another one, shall we? In this game, Jordan is piloting Rocco, Cabaretti Caterer. This deck attempts to generate infinite mana and then sink it into Walking Ballista to kill the table. Jordan's opening hand contains the Forbidden Orchard, Court of Calling, Tybalt's Trickery, Dockside Extortionist, Mana Crypt, Noxious Revival, and a Gaius Cradle. Sean brings back Pure and Toothy, and his opening hand contains a Mystical Tutor, Urza's Saga, Mana Crypt, Arcane Signet, Pongify, Phyrexian Metamorph, and his London Mulligan is a Reclamation Sage. Drake brings back Najila, and his opening hand contains an Arid Mesa, Ancient Tomb, Misty Rainforest, Imperial Seal, Brainstorm, Force of Will, and a Ragavan, Nimble Pilferer. Ryan brings back Tevish and Krom, and his opening hand contains a Dispel, Jeweled Lotus, Ragavan Nimble Pilferer, Mana Crypt, Volcanic Island, Mystic Remora, and his London Mulligan is an Opposition Agent, and Sean gets to start us off. Sean draws and plays an Urza Saga, getting its first counter. He casts a Mana Crypt, he casts an Arcane Signet, he passes. Jordan draws and plays a City of Brass, he also casts a Mana Crypt, he ends the turn. Drake draws and exiles Simeon Spirit Guide from his hand, adding a red. He plays an Ancient Tomb for turn. He taps it to help cast his commander, Najila the Blade Blossom. He ships the turn. Ryan draws and plays a Volcanic Island. He casts a Mana Crypt. He casts a Jeweled Lotus. He cracks his Lotus to help cast his commander, Tevish Zot, Doom of Fools. He activates Tevish's first ability, creating two Thralls. He follows it up with a Mystic Remora. In response, Sean casts Mystical Tutor, fetching up a Time Twister onto the top of his library. Remora resolves, and Ryan, with a very good turn one, passes the turn. During his upkeep, Sean wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws, and in his main phase, Urza Saga gets another counter. He casts Time Twister. Remora triggers, and Ryan draws. In response, Jordan taps his City of Brass to cast Tybalt's Trickery, targeting Time Twister. Remora triggers, and Ryan draws again. In response, Drake casts Force of Will, paying a life and exiling a blue card, targeting Tybalt's Trickery. Remora triggers, and Ryan draws. Force counters Trickery, and Twister resolves. Each player shuffles their hand and graveyard into their library and draws 7. With nothing else, Sean passes. During his upkeep, Jordan loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and plays a Spire Garden. He casts Llanowar Elves. He passes. Drake draws and plays a Mana Confluence. He moves to combat and attacks Ryan with Najila. Najila triggers, creating a 1-1 Warrior tapped and attacking Ryan. Ryan declares no blocks and takes the hit. In his second main phase, Drake taps his Mana Confluence to help cast Imperial Seal. Remora triggers and Ryan draws. In response, Jordan taps the City of Brass to flash in an Avon Mind Sensor. Avon resolves, and Drake searches the top four of his library, puts one on top, and loses two life. With nothing else, Drake passes the turn. During his upkeep, Ryan wins his Mana Crypt roll. Also in his upkeep, he pays for his Remora. He draws and plays a Luxury Suite. He activates Tevish's second ability, sacrificing a Thrall, drawing two cards. He casts Dragon's Rage Channeler. He casts a Mana Vault. Channeler triggers, and he surveils a snow-covered island into his graveyard. He ends the turn. During his upkeep, Sean wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws, and in his main phase, Urza Saga gets his final counter. He floats a mana and sacrifices it, searching the top four of his library, failing to find. He casts Wall of Roots. He casts Simic Signet. Remora triggers, and Ryan draws. He activates Wall of Roots, adding a green. He casts his own Mystic Remora. Remora triggers, and Ryan draws again. Priority passes around the table, and Sean's Mystic Remora resolves. Sean gives the turn to Jordan. During his upkeep, Jordan loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and plays a Horizon Canopy. Staring down two Remoras, he does nothing else and passes the turn. Drake draws and plays a Plateau. He moves to combat and attacks Ryan with everything. Najila triggers, creating two warriors tapped and attacking Ryan. Ryan blocks Najila with a Thrall and takes the rest. Not wanting to feed the fish, Drake passes. During his upkeep, Ryan loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. Also in his upkeep, he pays for his Remora. He draws and plays an Exotic Orchard. He casts his other commander, Krom, Ludovic's Opus. 
He activates Tevish's first ability, creating two thralls. He ends the turn. During his upkeep, Sean wins his mana crypt roll. Also in his upkeep, he pays for his remora. He draws and casts his commander, Toothy, imaginary friend. He passes. At the end of Sean's turn, Jordan taps his Horizon Canopy to cast Court of Calling, where X equals 2. Both Remora's trigger and Ryan and Sean draw. Toothy triggers and gets a plus one plus one counter. Court resolves and Jordan fetches up a devoted druid onto the battlefield. Still in the end step, Jordan taps his City of Brass to cast Worldly Tutor. Both Remora's and Krom trigger. Ryan draws 2 and Sean draws 1. Toothy triggers and gets a plus one plus one counter. In response, Sean pays 2 life to help cast Mental Misstep targeting Worldly Tutor. Remora and Krom trigger. Ryan draws 2 and then Misstep counters Worldly Tutor. The turn moves to Jordan. During his upkeep, Jordan wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and plays a Yava Maya, Cradle of Growth. He casts Balaged Recovery, targeting Worldly Tutor. Sean and Ryan draw, and Toothy gets a plus one plus one counter. Worldly Tutor returns to Jordan's hand, and he casts it. Both Remoras and Krom trigger. Ryan draws two, Sean draws one, and Toothy gets a plus one plus one counter. In response, Ryan casts Force of Negation for its alternate cost, exiling a blue card. Remora triggers, and Sean draws. Toothy gets another counter, and Worldly Tutor is countered and exiled. Jordan moves to combat and attacks Drake with Avon Mind Sensor. Drake takes the hit, and in his second main phase, Jordan activates Devoted Druid, putting a minus one minus one counter on it and untapping it. He taps his Horizon Canopy to help cast his commander, Rocco, Cabaretti Caterer, where X equals two. Rocco enters, and he fetches up a Vizier of Remedies onto the battlefield. Now with Vizier on the battlefield, he can activate Devoted Druid without giving it a minus one minus one counter. He then generates infinite green mana. Next, he channels Beseju, who endures, targeting Ryan's Mystic Remora. In response, Ryan casts Deflecting Swat for its alternate cost, targeting Beseju's ability. Remora triggers and Sean draws. Toothy triggers and gets a counter. Swat resolves, changing Beseju's target to Sean's Mystic Remora. Sean's Remora is destroyed, and then he searches the top four of his library, failing to find. Jordan casts Mana Morphos, paying for Remora. He adds two mana and draws a card. Unfortunately, he doesn't have what he needs to keep going and has to pass the turn. Drake draws and plays a Windswept Teeth. He taps his Ancient Tomb and his Mana Confluence to cast Snap, targeting Avon Mind Sensor. Remora triggers and Ryan draws. Avon is bounced and Drake untaps two lands. He cracks his windswept teeth, pays a life, and fetches up a tundra onto the battlefield. He casts Chrome Mox. Remora and Chrome trigger. Ryan draws and Drake imprints Mental Misstep. Drake then casts Sasa's Oracle. Everyone perks up and in response, Ryan casts Mystical Tutor. Channeler triggers and he surveils Talisman of Indulgence into his graveyard. Ryan then fetches up a Fierce Guardian Chip onto the top of his library. Sasa's Oracle then enters, triggers, and Drake passes priority. The table scratches their head a bit, and Oracle's ability resolves. Drake looks at the top two cards of his library, puts one on bottom and the other on top. He taps his Mana Confluence to cast Neoform, sacrificing Thassa's Oracle as an additional cost. Remora triggers and Ryan draws. The table now understands why he cast Oracle, and in response, Ryan casts Fierce Guardianship for its alternate cost, targeting Neoform. Chandler triggers and in response, Drake casts Veil of Summer. Remora triggers and Ryan draws. Out of answers, Veil vale resolves. Drake draws a card, and Ryan surveils Cyclonic Rift into his graveyard. Then Fierce resolves, but doesn't counter Neoform. Drake then fetches up Derevi, Imperial Tactician, onto the battlefield. Derevi triggers, tapping down Toothy. He moves to combat and attacks everything at Sean. Najila triggers, creating four warriors tapped and attacking Sean. Sean blocks a warrior and then takes the rest. Derevi triggers seven times. He untaps five of his lands, floating mana between triggers to activate Najila. He untaps all of his attacking creatures, giving them Trample, Lifelink, and Haste until the end of turn. He uses the last two Derevi triggers to tap down two of his opponent's creatures. Drake then presents a loop of attacking with all of his creatures, doubling his warriors, untapping his lands to activate Najila over and over for infinite combat steps, and Drake wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, those were some action-packed games tonight. Congrats to Jordan and Drake on their wins. In game one, Jordan laid low, developed his board, and let his opponents fight each other while he waited for the right time to strike. Seeing him loop Spine of Ish Saw to pump his team for lethal damage was quite the sight to behold at a CDH table. In game two, Ryan got off to an incredible start. He pulled out in front quickly and stayed there. Each player was jockeying for position with some well-timed interaction and patience. Drake, however, was able to sweep the rug out from under the rest of the table and take the win. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more like this, consider subscribing. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time when we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.